Let's check, let's check. Okay. Everything is good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. Good. Good evening. It's nice to have you. I think I made you all already, oh, which is good. Wonderful. Oh, look at you. I think I know some of you already. I have Freddy. Also, Jorge. Ronald is here. Janessi. Also, Marcos. Oh, oh yes. Care. It's nice to see you one more time. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my pleasure. Welcome, all of you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Welcome, y'all. It's nice to have you one more time, and I hope all of you are ready and safe, right? It's just like we have in this storm. Oh, good so, evening. Good evening, Eddie. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Nice to see you. It's my pleasure. Look at you, right? Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, we're still alive, right? Which is something good. Yeah, if we're still alive, that's good. We're winning. We're winning, right? So don't give up. Keep keep staying alive and be happy. Okay, so it's nice to have you, all of you. Welcome to this English class here, as you may know. I, I think I, I know most of you already, which is um good. Yes, so it's nice to see you again and welcome. Welcome, John. It's nice. It's nice to have you. See, we're going to have another module, as you may know, which is a pre intermediate English module number three, right? That is the one we are going to have. So, uh, welcome. Yes. We're going to start with the one, which is pre intermediate module number three. Yes. So um, thank you so much for being here, y'all. And um, yeah, so welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yes. It's nice to have you one more time. Yes. Okay. So um, let's begin. As you may know, we have some parts at the beginning of, of each uh, module, which is um, thought like, I don't know, just to explain was. I don't know, the, the say the procedures or like the different steps or the different, um I don't know, the, the way this course is going to be done. Okay, so, um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know right now that information so you can have it and you, you can be sure what's going to be done and how this thing uh, will be done in this much okay so i'm gonna switch a little bit into spanish just for this one and then we can switch into the english class right so uh, again it's nice to have you one more time and i hope all of you um and i wish you the best at home okay so thank you so much it's nice to see you one more time healthy and alive okay which is good let's let's begin um well as you may know, I'm Mr. Palomo, and I'm an ESL teacher. I've been teaching like for like eight years. Yeah, so it's quite long. And well, I have this uh, accreditation with English for work. So that's why I'm teaching here. And pretty much that's what I do for a living. I teach English. Yeah, I think adults, teenagers, uh, I don't know, young children. I don't know. Yeah. All kind of people, let's say, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's what I do. Okay, so it's my pleasure. And I'm so happy to be here, let's say, learning with you as well. Okay, so thank you so much for aguantarme, okay? Thank you so much, okay? It's my pleasure. Um, Recordarle lo de las tareas, right? Sí, este, lo de realizar las actividades en la plataforma. Usted ya sabe cómo trabaja, pues, de inglés corporativo con las actividades asignadas en la plataforma. Si usted tiene algún inconveniente, ya sea para ingresar o ya sea realizando alguna actividad, pues, escríbame, ¿sí? O escriba al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿sí? Eh, acuérdese que todo tiene solución en esta vida, pues, um, pues, solo es de apoyarnos, ¿vale? Right? Entonces, usted me, me, me informa en el grupo o le escribe a la persona encargada del curso Y pues si no obtiene alguna respuesta, pues me escribe a mí y pues con gusto nos apoyamos. Igual con las actividades que están ahí, si usted no entiende alguna, pues 
eh, me escribe y con gusto yo le puedo apoyar. Ya puede escribir en el grupo o puede escribirme um, en, de forma personal a mí. Right. Entonces, uh, no se olvide estar realizando las actividades que están en la plataforma. La primera semana es la, pues, la más difícil, I guess. Yes. Eh, porque pues aquí tenemos dos secciones, right? la one and two. Y luego la semana uh, two tenemos section three y tenemos un midterm. En la semana three tenemos section four. Y la semana number four tenemos uh, la section number five and there is a final exam at the end. Ok, entonces uh, así es como lo vamos a desarrollar. Eh, igual lo de siempre las normas de convivencia, ¿verdad? Recordarles mantener su, pues, su, su micrófono apagado. La lista de asistencia siempre la voy a tomar a, pues, a las y media. Yes. Um, eh, voy a siempre mencionar su nombre completo. E igual usted escriba su nombre completo pues, en Zoom. Right? Si escriba su nombre completo, dos nombres y dos apellidos. En el caso, pues tenga más, pues se escribe. Right? Ok. A uh, cámara encendida, sí, pedirles, right, que la mantengan encendida para ver your beautiful faces, right, y cómo están de happy at home, yes, right, and ready. Eh, la participación activa, sí, pedirle, right, um, su participación. En algún caso, pues, si usted tenga algún inconveniente, me notifica, ya sea en el chat, aquí en Zoom. Siempre notifíqueme aquí en el, en el chat de Zoom si tiene algún inconveniente con su micrófono para que quede registro, pues, de esa situación. Yes, right. Um, uso del chat, ¿verdad? Pues uh, apropiado según lo que estamos viendo, lo que estamos trabajando relacionado a los temas. Eh, levantar la mano si tiene algún comentario. Y siempre mantener el respeto de los compañeros, right? Sí. So we can have like a good class. La asistencia, igual recordarle siempre el 80%. Si sí, eh, no falte, si tiene algún inconveniente, ya sea de trabajo o algo pues siempre trate pues, eh, de mantenerse, ¿va? ingresar a las clases, notificar a la persona encargada de que va a estar como oyente, pero pues para que usted no pierda pues um, las clases. ¿va? ¿Sí? El avance, otra vez, en el desarrollo de las actividades en la plataforma. El inicio pues es el día de hoy, como usted sabe, 30 de octubre, y vamos a finalizar el día 23 de noviembre. ¿Sí? En el horario, pues, ya establecido que es, ese es de 8 a 9, entonces vamos a tener una hora, ¿sí? Para lo cual le voy a pedir si tiene alguna pregunta relacionada a algún comentario relacionado a la clase o a los temas, pues, sí, le sugiero que los haga al principio, pues, porque luego tengo otro grupo y, y sí, pues, se me hace difícil, pues, responderles al final, ¿verdad? Eh, la cámara encendida otra vez y la duración de la clase, pues, que son 60 minutos. Ahí es. Uh, igual los ejercicios de la plataforma, otra vez. Y este, pues para que al final usted pueda obtener su diploma, ¿verdad? Y seguir con este proceso que es Learning English. ¿va? Es un proceso, pues el que usted tiene. Y yo lo felicito a todos, pues, por seguir adelante. Sé que es difícil, sé que, pues, uh, algunos están bien cansados del trabajo, ¿right? Pero están acá. Y, es, y, y creo, pues... Eh, en ustedes de que lo van a lograr. Right? No tenga miedo de equivocarse, no tenga miedo pues de seguir adelante, right? de, de practicar, de hablar. Just keep, keep learning and keep practicing. Vamos a trabajar con esta section number one, which is called is very excited. Uh, well, is a very excited place. We're gonna have adverbs before adjectives. And as you may know, this is pre-intermediate English module number three. And this is class number one. No sé si tienen alguna cuestión antes que empecemos with this thing. Any question about it? Let me know. If not, we're done with this one. I think I, I know most of you. Yes. Uh, Maria Vilma, hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you. Look at you. It's my pleasure, okay? Are you happy today? Yes? Uh, that's good. Yes. That's good. Freddy, you're ready on vacation at Tunco Beach, right? Oh, that's good. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> that's good. that's I, I very like far away. <laughs> that's very far away. My yeah, favorite picture. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes, that's good. That's good. So you're ready, right? 
Yes. Just be careful with the with the rain because it's raining somehow uh, heavy in some places. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. Um let's begin. I think we won't do this one because we already know each other, I guess. Um maybe a few of your classmates, right? Not all of you, because I because I know you all. Or if you want to do it one more time, just for practice, let's say. Uh oh Christian, it's nice to have you. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Christian. Yes. Because I, I have a I had a friend who with that name, Christian. So I thought that was my friend. So I was like reading your last name. Okay, so I thought, hey, is that you, Christian? No, but then then the your last names are, are different. Okay. So um let's begin with Kevin. Hello, Kevin. It's nice to have you. Good evening. Hello, to share. Good evening. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Um, have we met before? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ! I, I don't remember. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Kevin, <laughs> please. Uh, no questions. Double edge questions, please. Go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, I live in a uh, here in the Salvador. Uh, what do what do you do? Uh, I do uh, in my profession is, is graphic design. Um, I am studying English because uh, I can uh, I can understand the language. And and do you speak any other language? No, no. For the moment, no. Are you married? No, no. For the moment, no. Um, saving money, right? Do you have any children? No, no. Oh, perfect! Thank you so much. Like when you told me, like, where do you live? Like, that's it, I don't know. Is San Salvador, Santa Ana, San Miguel? Oh, Sa San Salvador, uh, San Jacinto. Oh, that's okay. I know San Jacinto, right? Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Jose okay. Mauricio Martinez, thank you. Go ahead. Okay, good evening, everyone. Well, I live in Aguachapan. What do you do? Well, I'm a mechanic. And one are used. In uh, in an enterprise as a pretty answer sounds pretty good because they earn a lot of money and speak another language. No, are you married? Yes, only have a pet, children, not yet. So you save your money, right? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> yeah, everything that, that goes to save it is good. Okay. Like, um, thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Okay. Um, let me see. Yeah, I think I met you all already. Yeah. Yeah. Uh let me see. Daniela, you know your classmates are ready, right? Yes. <laughs> you know who's Janessi, right? Janessi Alexander. You know you know her? <laughs> Daniela, do you know who's Janessi, Alexandra? <laughs> and that I have some issues. Yes, you have some issues with your internet connection. It's breaking down, Kevin. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, I think like we're going to skip this one because like we already know each other, I guess, right? Sounds good, Anna, Christina? Like, are we going to skip this part, which is like presenting, like... Cause, Cause, we did it already. Like in the previous, I don't know, in the previous module. Yes. Uh, we're gonna have a few of you just for practice. We're gonna have Maria Vilma Cortez. Okay, Maria Vilma Cortez, your turn. Go ahead. Hello, teacher. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. 
the which question? Yes, double H questions. <laughs> and where do you live? Um, I live in Sacacoyo City, in La Libertad. Um, where studying English, uh, I like uh, idiom. And I I am no I work in in uh, no how do you sell uh, office domesticos? Oh like um I don't know. Oh Jesus. Oh my gosh. Homemaker. Homemaker, um, maybe. Oh. Housekeeper. Homemaker. Or a cleaner if you want to. Or oh. uh, we have sometimes a uh, cleaning lady, that's the way they called it. Okay, so. Um, housewife? No, oh, housewife, housewife is, but. Then my oh, house. Oh, that is in your house. Oh, that's a housewife. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jacqueline. <laughs> yeah. If if you like do it at, in oh. your house, yes, that is a house, housewife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you work, let's say that you, I don't know, clean houses. So you're like a, sometimes you call it clean lady or like. Um, a cleaner, yeah. Thank you so much, Maria. It's nice to see you one more time. Okay, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, we're gonna have Freddy. Hello, Freddy. Thank you. Go ahead. Hello, Um, where do you live? I live in Mexicano, San Salvador. Uh, what do you do? I'm a teacher, uh, a, a contact. Um, why are you studying English? Um, I study I study English because I get a, a new job. Um, do you speak any other language? Uh, <clears throat> yes, I speak uh, basic. Uh, language, uh, French and uh, Italian. Uh, are you married? Uh, yes, I am married. I am married. Do you have any children? Um, yes, one because my first son uh, is uh, eighteen years old. My my daughter uh, is uh, 13 years old. Thank you so much yes. for sharing, Freddie. Okay. okay. You got a pretty, like, um, amazing family. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Okay, people, we're going to skip this one because I, I think I know you already. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the first topic for today which is about adjectives jesus we're gonna work with adjectives which is one of my favorite things and i love them all we're gonna have um sandra noemi sandra please what do you see here in these two pictures tell me what are the difference between these two pictures or what is something that you like or you don't like from these pictures good evening teacher uh the one picture i i see the beautiful city and clean city and i see the ocean and second picture i see the anchor city because it's the pollution and the building is is not clean in the ceiling. Thank you so much, Ryan. Very good. Yes. So we have these two life size of this thing that is called life. Beautiful and ugly. Okay. Yes. Sometimes that happens, right? Yeah. That's true, right? That's that's life. We gotta keep living with it. We gotta, I don't know, accept that and then move need to move on. 
We're gonna work with adjectives that describe places. Okay, as you may know, we have different places. Like, let's get here in El Salvador, we have different places. Some of them are beautiful and some of them not. Absolutely not, right? Some of them, like, we don't want to be there. So we're gonna use adjectives to describe these places, okay? The first thing we are going to work is we're gonna match these adjectives, okay? Match each word with colon A, okay? And what is the opposite? What is the opposite of uh, of these ones? Yep, yeah. okay? So what is the opposite of boring? I'm sorry, beautiful. What is the opposite of beautiful? Ugly. Ugly. Ugly, right? What is ugly? Oh, it's the letter H. Okay, very good. What's the opposite of cheap? That's cheap. Expensive. Expensive. Okay, expensive. That is true. Oh, my gosh. Give me a minute. Sorry. X with D. David. What about clean? Polluted. Letter F. Polluted, okay, polluted, very good. What about interesting? Boring. Boring, let's say, that is correct. Quiet. Noisy. Noisy, noisy. exactly right. Like a downtown is noisy. Relaxing. Stressful. Oh, Stressful. sometimes like jobs. Jobs. Stress. <laughs> like uh, the beach, right, Freddie? Is like relaxing, but <laughs> like the city, no, absolutely not. Okay, safe. What about safe? Is uh, dangerous? Oh, like the song from Michael Jackson, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Very good. A spacious. Look at this one. Crowded. Crowded. Crowded, exactly. Like like if you live in Soyapango, right, for example, if you go to Plaza Mundo, it's crowded. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's crowded. Yeah, a lot of people like on the street. Also, if you go to Metro Centro, you go Galerias, it's crowded. A, a lot of people there. I don't know why, how do they get a bunch of money so they can spend on the ball. Okay, so... Oh, well, teacher, uh, uh, I un error in el quiet. Quiet, okay. Oh, oh yes. Le puso a. I'm sorry, my mistake. Thank you so much for letting me know, Jorge. That's wonderful. Quiet, quiet. Yeah, okay. I apologize. So it's going to be letter E, right? E. Yes? E. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. So, you use these adjectives to describe cities, yes? And do you remember that small thing that is called verb to be? Do you remember verb to be, Daniela? Yes. Yeah, that amazing thing that is coffee with pan dulce, right? With semita alta, every single day we use that one. So here we're gonna use the verb to be to describe places. So when it comes talking about your city, for example, you can say, you can describe your city the way you think it is, right? For example, if you live in San Miguel, who lives in San Miguel? Mm -hmm. Who lives in San Miguel City? Oh, Carnaval is coming to San Miguel, right? The Carnaval is coming to San Miguel. Who, who lives in San Miguel? Nobody? Like, nobody? Nobody? What about Santa Ana? Yes? Who lives in Santana? Nobody I'm lives in Santana. I live in Santana. Oh, okay. Please, Daniela, describe your city using some adjectives that you see here. Like, tell us what are the things that we can find over there. Well, Santana is very inter interesting and safe. Just um, a little places, a few places are not safe, but um, the most are safe. Thank you so much. Very good, Daniela. 
just my suggestion, okay, just to give you that, when you talk about somebody or something, in this case, your city, you need to give more details, okay? Yeah, so you can, so you can like, let me know exactly what, what you mean when you say, oh, Santa Ana is exciting. Why is exciting, okay? Yes, or why like, I don't know, we don't have too many places over there, right? So tell me the reasons. Or for example, if like, there are some things that are expensive, some expensive restaurants. Or you can tell me, oh, if you come here to Santa Ana, there are some expensive restaurants. For example, La Patada, La Vaca Loca, these places are very expensive. So my recommendation is get something cheap at Pupuseria Juanita, right? So there you can have pupusas like, I don't know, 50 cents or, or, or 60 cents, yeah? Yes. So this recommendation is for everybody, right? So when you talk about something, like for example, a city, you need to give details, like why this thing is ugly, why this thing is quiet, why is the reason, I don't know, um, the city is beautiful, or why do you think the city is, is ugly, okay? So you need to give more details about it. We're gonna have a little bit of this description, Okay. Oh, Jesus. What is this thing? Give me a minute. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. We're going to have some, some vocabulary about this one. Okay. Uh, question for you, Janessi. How's the weather? How's the weather? <laughs> yes, right now. How's the weather? Let's say, right? <laughs> That's good. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you so much, Janessi. Very good. Thank you so much. Anna, Cristina, same question to you. How's the weather? The weather. Hello, teacher. Gusto de verlo. Oh, nice to have uh, you. My pleasure. Uh, the weather uh, today. Uh, was cloudy. Do you like um, it or you don't like it? No, no like. Oh, you don't like it. Okay. Why you don't like it? Anna, why you don't like it? ¿Por qué no me gusta? Exactly, exactly, very good. Um, because uh, is um, uh, because um, um, oh, oh, okay. Uh, I like uh, day sunny. Oh, very good. So you you like sunny days. You like sunny days. Oh, very good, Anna. Great job. Very good. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Okay. Freddy, what do you think about our cities? Our city, I'm sorry, our beaches here in El Salvador. What do you think about those? Are those polluted or are those fantastic cities? Um, uh, beaches, I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh -huh. In some cities? Oh, uh, beaches, I'm sorry, beaches. Beaches, playa. Oh yes, uh huh. Yes, um, some in some beaches, uh huh, uh, are are pollu polluted. Oh, tell me one. Tell me one. Uh, for example, um, in Madrid. Oh, in Puerto de la Libertad. Mm. Uh huh, Puerto de la Libertad. Uh huh. Uh, uh, by the restaurant mm, yes mm -hmm. that's true that's true and uh, what about the beaches that are fantastic like you think oh you should visit this city these beaches uh maybe the the beach the beach the, 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 the yes mm -hmm. because it's 
es más eh, lejos. Oh, that's great. What about las tunas? What do you think about that beach? Ah, las tunas, yes. En la Unión. Oh, yes. It's far away, mm -hmm. right? This is quite far away, but... Arena Blanca. Oh, yes, sense? exactly. So we have white sand. Very good. Great job. Thank you so much, Freddy. Mm -hmm. Kevin, Eduardo, number three, what do you think about the prices that we are having nowadays? Are those reasonable prices or expensive? 50-50, um, sure. Um, in the streets, is medium reasonable, but in the supermarkets, it is so expensive. Oh, yes, that is true. That is true, right? Yes. On the street, you can find, like, let's say, different vendors, so you can get uh, cheap prices, but, but not in, in restaurants or supermarkets. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation on this one. Just give me a minute. I need to take the attendance. I'm sorry. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Blanca Isolina. Guzman Cruz. I'm here. Welcome. Nice to have you one more time. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crispin. Hello, Briseida. Are you here? Briseida, are you here? Oh, is Briseida here in class? Oh, yes, yeah, she's here, but probably she's busy because she doesn't answer. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Teacher. Thank you, Cindy. Welcome. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. It's nice to have you one more time. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Presente, teacher. Nice to have you one more time. Welcome. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Good evening. I'm here. Nice to have you ever. Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Welcome. Present, teacher. Nice to have you Thanks. one more time. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present. Thank you so much. One more time. Nice to have you. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Good evening. Good yeah, teacher. Nice to have you. Iliana Mariel Alvarado Menjibar. Present teacher. Nice to have you. One more time. Welcome. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Welcome and nice to have you, Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank good you evening. so much and welcome. Good evening. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Gentlemen, it's nice to have you one more time. Jose Alcides, Leiva Ibarra. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose, and welcome. Nice to have you. Jose Mauricio Martinez Sarabia. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. I'm here, teacher. Good Gentlemen, evening. good evening. Nice to have you. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juarez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Luis Alberto Galicia. Gertrudis. I'm here, dear. Hello. Gentlemen, good evening. Nice to have you. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. My pleasure. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Good evening. Milena de Los Angeles Aragón Pleites. Hello, Milena. Are you here? Milena, oh, she's here, but she doesn't answer. Okay, let's carry on with Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. Hello, Mirna, are you here? No, she isn't. Okay. What about... Um, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya? Present teacher. Nice to have you one more time. Good evening. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Alvarez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. 
Present. Thank you so much. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much for being here all. And let's carry on with this thing. Okay. Unit We're going to have this conversation, uh, which is, it looks so relaxing. Jorge Juan Jose Garcia, do me a favor. Describe the picture that is on the screen, please. And tell me, what do you see here? Um, Juan Jose Garcia, thank you. Good evening, teacher. Nice. I morning. see in the picture uh, beautiful beaches, beach, and uh, the I see blue water. Uh, how do you say trans transparent? Oh Jesus! Uh, I don't remember exactly how to say that. Clear. Oh, clear. Yeah, that's a good option. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see uh, the clear water. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. yeah. How, how often do you go to the beach, Juan? Um, uh, a little. Oh, okay. yeah. you, you don't like it or just you don't have the time? Uh, I don't like uh, going to the beach. Um, Mm, my prefer and uh, practice my my sport. Oh, what was that? A skateboard. Oh, that's difficult. Yeah, that's difficult. Yeah, yeah. And, and dangerous somehow, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's a little dangerous. Um, it is 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 practice. I is practice. I can practice much. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's true. Do you do you record yourself when you practice? Um, every day. Oh, I, I mean, do you every record like practice. if you take videos of yourself like practicing? Yeah, oh, yeah. I have uh a sponsor. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I I travel uh a competition. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Fantastic one. Keep keep to working. I love on that I one. love skateboard. Yeah, I love skate. Yeah. Oh, we have video games about it, right? We have some video games. I used yeah. to have one when I was young. I used to have a video game about that one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Juan. De pequeño crecí jugando Tony Hawk. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. That was, he was very good. Yeah, that was a very good yeah. video game. Thank you so much, Juan, for sharing that. We're gonna have it My looks place. so relaxing. I'm going to play the audio so you can listen, pronunciation, right, and the phrases here, and then we can practice a little bit. So let's listen and read. Unit 11, it's a really nice city. Page 72, exercise two, conversation. It looks so relaxing. Part A, listen and practice. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I've heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great, and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear, too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap. But prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital. About 200 kilometers. A little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. Edith, Carolina, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Nice to have you. Tell me, what is this conversation about? Oh, uh, the conversation is uh, on the beach. Exactly. And near the house, the the tree or the the hill. Okay. Thank and you. Is this it? Very much tourist. 
Okay, where is where is this this uh, beach? Let's say, what is this beach located? Is this in El Salvador? Is this no, in... no, no. It's in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Okay. What about the prices? Uh, the prices in is about uh, for tourists. Mm -hmm. It's reasonable. 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 Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. So we're going to have this conversation really quick. Um, we're going to have a few of you because of the time. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize on that one. We're going to have Janessi. Janessi, you are going to be Camila. Yes, your partner is going to be Claudia. You're going to be Ron. Ready? Let's begin. Thank you. Okay. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near by near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I'm here the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there is are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear too. Is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but the prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Hmm. And how far is from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about 2,000 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there sometime. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Luis, you are going to be Ron Luis and Daniela Mercedes. No, Daniela, she did uh, participate. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa, you are going to be Camila, Jenny. Okay, ready? Let's begin. Um, okay. That photo is really cool. Where is that? That's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. It looks so relaxing. I have heard the area is really beautiful. Yeah, it is in the world in great is great and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear too. Is, is it expensive there? Well, it's not cheap, but for instance, for tourists can be pretty reasonable. How far is it from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about say. Uh, to that some kilometers, 200, 200, 200 kilometers, a little over 120 meters. It sounds very interesting. I should play a trip or something. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Uh, we need some practice. Um, Jenny, right? Because I hear a few mistakes with practice, Jenny. Very good. Okay, but we need practice like kilometers, miles uh, with the numbers. So you can practice a little bit, but you did it quite good. Okay, Claudia, you're going to be Camila Claudia. Your partner is going to be um, Sandra Noemi Pimentel. You're going to be Ron Sandra. Yes. Oh, Claudia, you did it already. Correct Meet me. Teacher if I'm again. Wrong. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. My my mistake, okay? I'm going to pick another one. That's going to be this gentleman, Jose Mauricio. Thank you. You're going to be Camila Jose, yes? Okay. Perfect. Ready, Sandra? Okay. That photo is really cool. Where is that? that that's a beach near my house in Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. 
It looks so relaxing. I've heard this area is a really beautiful. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches. The water is really clear too. It is expensive there. Well, it's not cheap, but prices for tourists can be pretty reasonable. Mm. And how far is from Santo Domingo? It's not too far from the capital, about 200 kilometers, a little over 120 miles. It sounds very interesting. I should plan a trip there or something, sometime. Thank you so much, the two of you. Very good. Just don't forget, um, Sandra, really quick, when we have pronunciation here at the end, when it's verb to be, we're going to have it up, like, is it expensive? But here, when we have a double-edged word like this one, how, it's going down, right? Yeah, like the sun. How far is it from Santo Domingo? Yeah, just down. But here, is it expensive? Okay. Thank you so much. Because of the time, um, we're going to move on to the next one, which is you the, little the rest of the conversation, which is what does Camila say about entertainment in Punta Cana. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio for this one. I need you to listen carefully so then you can give me the answer about the rest of the conversation. Yep. What does Camila say about entertainment in Punta Cana? Do you understand, Freddy? What are you going to do? Yes? Um... Camila uh, is talking about the beaches. Oh, oh yes, right. So I'm going to I'm going to play the audio so you can answer this question. Okay, what does Camila say about entertainment in Punta Cana? Yes, Ana, do you understand? No, teacher. Okay, okay. Voy a poner el audio, right? Sí. Y in el audio, va a mencionar the answer of this question. Yes? Okay, entonces, when you hear the audio, then contesta la question based on the audio. Yes? All right? Yes. Perfect. No problem. Thank you so much. Here we go. Page 72. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Camilla say about entertainment in Punta Cana? So, what kinds of things are there to do in Punta Cana? Oh, there's so much to do. There are beautiful beaches, of course. You can go scuba diving, see dolphins, ride a horse on the beach. Really? I've never ridden a horse on the beach. It sounds fun. Anything else? Yes. There are a lot of nightclubs. Dominicans love to dance. That's great. I love to dance, too. Page 72. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Camilla say about entertainment in Punta Cana? So, what kinds of things are there to do in Punta Cana? Oh, there's so much to do. There are beautiful beaches, of course. You can go scuba diving, see dolphins, ride a horse on the beach. Really? I've never ridden a horse on the beach. It sounds fun. Anything else? Yes. There are a lot of nightclubs. Dominicans love to dance. That's great. I love to dance, too. Okay, somebody? Please give me the answer. What does Camila say about entertainment in Punta Cana? Thank you, Jacqueline. Go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Uh, nice uh, in my point of view, uh, Camila said that you can ride a horse on the beach and actually you, you can go to nightclubs and go dancing because there 
the people really like dancing. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jacqueline. That's correct. Page. Yes, that's correct. Very good. We're going to have this video about the grammar part cool? of this one. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, let's listen <laughs> and watch. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. It's a fairly big city. It's not very expensive. It's not a very expensive place. It's too noisy and it's too crowded for me. Let's start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Now let's talk about this chart. Notice they are organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want, so we usually use it with a negative adjective. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion box. Write one sentence for each adverb. Remember to use the following structure. X plus is plus adverb plus adjective. Good luck. Thank you so much. So good luck, everybody. What are we going to do? We're going to work on this one. Okay. As you may know, this thing somehow is quite simple. It's not something like difficult. The idea with, with using adverbs here is to make the sentence, let's say, quite, I don't know, attractive, let's say, right? Just to like, I mean, exaggerate a little bit. As you may know, Americans, they usually exaggerate on the stuff. Yes. They are like extremely like when they don't like something, they say, oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So they exaggerate on little things. So here we have these adverse. So we can exaggerate on some cases, right? Yeah. So sometimes we can say, you say, oh, I don't know. Your car is, your car is nice. Yeah. You can say, yeah. Oh, your car is nice. Oh, that's, that's good, right? But if you want to exaggerate a little bit or make it like, I don't know, let's say, I don't know, just to be a, a little bit, uh, just to emphasize a little bit on that adjective, you can use another before that one, yes. We have some of them here, like really, uh, fairly, very, uh, too, okay. The one that we use a lot in English is this one, very, okay. That's very obvious, This we say sometimes, oh, that's very expensive. Oh, that's very, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So we can vary is the one that we use the most a lot, a lot, right? Uh, we use also extremely, really, that's really good. Yeah. Also pretty. This one pretty also is like that's pretty, pretty good. Yes. There is a program that is called Corn Your Enthusiasm. There is a guy who used this pretty a lot. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. And how would it work? Well, we're gonna use it before the adjective. This is the adjective, nice, expensive, big. Uh, and what are we gonna use? We're gonna use this adverb before the adjective, yeah? 
Yeah, so we can emphasize, let's say, the adjective. Use a or an with adverbs plus adjective like, oh, it's a very modern city. It's inexpensive. Yeah. Uh, don't use with really interesting. Oh, really interesting. Oh, with this one, with interesting, we're not going to use this thing. These um articles. We're not going to use it with the word interesting. It looks like it goes like without one of those. Okay. So, which is, which is somehow good. Yeah. In English, there are some things that we have some rules and then suddenly oh, we don't use them anymore. I don't know. Maybe because of the rhythm of the language, I guess. Yeah. Which is very good because it makes the things easier. Any question about this, Janessi, Alexandra? No? Nah? Okay. Thank you so much. One more time. These adjectives help us to emphasize or to, let's say, um, to make like the sentences a little bit like, I don't know, to exaggerate a little bit on, on the sentences, right? Or on the things that we want to say. Yes. Uh, we can say, oh, like this. Using adjectives before, I'm sorry, using adjectives before adjectives. Hey. We're going to have this one here, as you may know. Read the sentence, and we're going to add this article, a uh, or an, what is necessary to complete the sentences, okay? For example, number one, Jesus Christ, what's going on? I'm sorry. What was that? Okay, give me a minute, because I got a problem with this one, okay? Give me a minute. I'm sorry about it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Um, so we're going to use uh, this one, articles, what is necessary. Somebody wrote in the chat. That is correct, Freddie. Thank you so much. Very good. We're sharing that. Okay, so let's go with number number two, which, of course, the one is done. Brasilia is extremely modern. Is an extremely modern city. What about the number two? Do we have the article or yes or no? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Yes. Um. Okay. Okay. She, okay. Soul is very, um, I think we don't, we don't need this one. If you look at, if you look at the previous information here, if you see here, we have, this says, don't use this one with the word, with the adjective interesting. So that means, that means like when we go to the other example, which is the number two, we're not going to use that one. So that means we don't need it. Yes. So in number two, no, right, Maria Vilma? No, in number two, we don't need a number two. Soul is very interesting place. Or soul is, yes, correct me if I'm wrong. Yes or no? No. Okay. What, what about number three? Santiago is pretty exciting city to visit. Do we need the article? Yes or no? I think so. No. Yes. Yes, we need it. And 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 I think I think in number two, yes, we need it. Yeah, Sol. Yeah, I think we need it here. Okay. I think I think we can have it. We can have it like, give me a minute, please. Sorry, just to be, just to be. Mm, no, this one, no. Yes, here we need it in number three. Okay, so where do we have it? Do we have it here or here? Where do you think we have it? Let's get back to the this one here so you can take a look. Or let me take a picture of this one so you can have it. 
and I will send it on WhatsApp group so you can, uh, I don't know if somebody did it already. Did you send this picture already on WhatsApp group? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, no, no. Okay, let me, let me really quick. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Yes, so if you look at the picture, right? If you look at the picture here, we can use it before this one, right? So we have these adjectives. Yes, we can use a or an. Oh, that's very nice, people. Thank you so much. You see, we can use before this ones, but not before this ones. Interesting, okay? That's why in number two, I was like uh, telling you about it. But this one, if we have really, fairly, very, okay? Uh, we can use it instead of have, let's say. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's time. Okay. I'm sorry, because of the time, we won't be able to finish this one. Uh, what I want you to do is like, ya lo enviaron a grupo on WhatsApp. So if you can finish, if you can finish and you can send me your answers, right? That will be good. Yes, just for practice. This one, because of the time. Sorry, yes. teacher, uh, please can you share the link for connect uh, to the chat in the WhatsApp? Oh, this exercise. No, the link to connect to the chat. Oh, oh I will do it. Oh, sure. I will do it. Um, Thank you. But let me see. Not right now. Okay. You are not in the group, right? Yes, I'm not. Okay. Um, what's this like? Um, let me see. It's time and you student. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. No problem, Luis. Let me see really quick. Uh, okay. Um, if you can do it, you know, it's not after. After is good. Good for me. Good oh, for me. maybe you can write the person that is in charge of this one, or uh, so he can uh, let you know. Or if not, tomorrow I will share with you the link. Okay, Luis? Good. Good. Very yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry because I got another class. Um, please, if you want me to check your answers on the exercise, you can send me a, in a private message and that will be good. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Take Thank care. You. Wonderful. It's nice to meet you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.